Hello and welcome back to Brave Edge. Today I wanted to check this teleportation portal or something. And let's save. And also we have a thing that still at the call cow station. So there's also that. Okay, probably. We need to go a little slower. The wormhole didn't have enough time to form. Okay. Something's wrong. Try flying backwards. Perhaps the teleporter doesn't have enough time to collect enough ionic mass due to the conical shape of the shuttle. It didn't work. There's a possibility Oops. that the teleporter is damaged and it doesn't have enough power. Perhaps if you fly and shoot at the same time, the plasma charges will collide with the positron grid of the portal, disperse it, and open the gate. And no. You know, theoretically, the portal might not work because portals don't exist at all. Mm. Do you believe in any pseudo-scientific nonsense? How on earth would there be a portal here? It's just some part of an engine. And our station has probably been destroyed by drifting debris long ago. Such as Joy Spoiler. There has to be something with this, also. Just need to understand what. So in the end, I. Didn't find any way inside. Oops, it's something. I'll have to check this one. What's the deal with it? Okay, okay, give me a minute. I'll be right back. Okay, so apparently I'm not supposed to look for a way in. Instead, we're looking for cows. We might be stuck here for a long time. Maybe we'd better see if the pieces stick to our glass. We won't be able to wipe them off. Yeah, we will be. By the way, did you notice that synthetic blood doesn't freeze in space? I'll Ooh. save it to my useless facts database. Have you ever thought that it's a synthetic cow? It's a good thing almost all the cows were carried into outer space and destroyed. That's all. Otherwise, there would have been thousands of them here. Mm -mm, not that way. Uh, it's a shame that some those. Oh, okay. That way. But I won't always see those icons on the edge of the screen. It could be useful. Same goes for the enemies. gonna work. It looks ripped to pieces. No, I don't think that there's another uh, coffin boot station.
And there's the accelerating station. Yay. It doesn't seem to be active, though. It's in pieces. It reminds me of that one time when we shoot it. We've received giant a friend or foe identification request from the security systems. I hope the unreadable number will really help. I hope so too. And there are bots. It works. The security system keeps sending us the request, but it's not taking any action. Great. Okay. Why are there so many coffins here? I know, right? <laughs> Just to find a place to dock and look around. What an old communication spaceship. It's the same age as the debris at the station with breath edge cores. The oh. service airlock. It's intact. Great. That might be this the is the liner's debris intact. for sure, but I can't identify it. How come? Mm, maybe we should eat something. I'm sure we'll find something on the station. Another closed door. How original. I think they could have come up with something more interesting than that. Thanks. Uh, I wish I hadn't said anything. Maybe we should go in here. What the? I take my word back. I wish it was another closed door. Ugh. Enough with this originality. The accelerating station is connected directly with those wires, or with these ones. Um, but it definitely is connected, which means you can restore the power supply. Yeah. Apparently, the coffins were pulling the wires, but someone killed them all. Huh. I don't think we need more resin. Thermos for space suit. Do I really need to take it each time? I assume only a robot yep. could have killed another robot with a thermos. Grandpa. What an impressive size of this hall. I assume that we're in the classified modules of the liner that belong to its central core. Only the chosen ones, like your grandfather, could admire them. Mm hmm. Careful, there's some activity ahead. Activity is a little it bit. It looks like some of the coffins are still functioning. Mm. Oh. certain what it is, but it looks like some old data processor with basic artificial intelligence. Oh, it really is unbreakable. It's likely the coffins unplug the accelerating station. Plug this thing in instead and try to... I have no idea what you're trying. We just need to plug in the accelerating station. Okay. 
looks like there's a powerful, deadly, and unstable power source behind this airlock, and we need to get in there, of course. Someone broke open the control panel. I don't want to panic, but we can't open these gates unless I find a loophole in their locking system. Here? Hidden burglar-proof hinges. Mechanical action isn't possible. Hmm. What about this? Judging by the encoding, there's a high-pressure hydraulic drive system built in here. We won't be able to move the doors apart. Okay. The gates are recessed into the floor and have bastion armored floor coverings. Hmm. All the electronics are protected by double encoding and a hidden duplication system. The estimated average hacking time is 2 million e At least six layers of a sixth class durability Sorry. alloy. My sensors can't get any deeper than that. Hmm. And here's its weak spot. Well, compared to the rest of the solid mass of the door. If we try very hard, we can leave quite a decent dent here in a couple of years. Probably. Probably. I think now I understand how these gates work. We need to check the central locking valve. Yes, I figured out how to open it. For starters, we need three live hamsters, two electrical tapes, a bottle, a grenade, about 20 kilograms of metal, a wire frame, two motors, but not too powerful, paint, or rather part of a paint spray can, and some small iron balls, only two or three hundred of them. But, uh, I'm I, uh, this game is worthless. No, seriously. Why is there a door on a secret and protected object that you could just... Forget about the door. I can't believe it. This is an additional small core of the liner unnamed. It's still working. Unbelievable. Is it also sentient? And this is Caution. There's a coffin on the control platform. Opa. It seems that this coffin destroyed all the others. I think that it's... No! It can't be! But the signal was lost. How is this even possible? Still, there's no doubt. It's definitely him. Grandpa. It's your grandpa. The coffin with your relative died in a battle with other coffins. I don't understand anything anymore. I know it's not easy, but we need to check him out. My dear man, if you're reading this now, it means that I didn't succeed. But you noticed my note on the fridge, or on the mirror, or in the corridor, or on the dresser, or on your forehead. I'm sorry, I tried to leave them everywhere possible. You must stop the flight of the liner, ASAP! I've been working as an engineer at the Scientific Research Institute of Space Development for nearly 58 years, and in the last several years, we have been fulfilling orders for the Breath Edge Funerary Agency. I haven't told you much about my work. I'm so sorry. But it's not that important right now. I started to notice that the Breath Edge Agency was making odd requests, and I conducted my own investigation. Now I'm sure they're not who they say they are. Breath Edge is perhaps the biggest and most dangerous fraud in human history. Please, take this recording and our chicken to Boris Grama. You do remember my old friend at the investigation department, don't you? Today I'll try to get closer to them. I need hard evidence. I love you, Grandpa. And don't forget to feed the chicken. She is the key. Breath Edge? No, I don't understand. So all of this could have been avoided if you had at least washed your face? I... I... I don't know what to say. But it doesn't matter now. The main thing is that your grandpa knew something about the coffins, the disaster, and the company that created me. I'll try to decipher the tape and wait in case you want to bury your relative. Yes. Put him over there on the emergency eject platform. I should have recommended that the funeral protocol be followed and that you take the deceased to the shuttle, but with such damage to the coffin, your relative's body would soon simply spill out all over the deck. He didn't deserve this. He didn't. He died a hero. Now we need to open the airlock and pay our last respects to this great man. He's been caught up in the planet's gravity. 
How beautiful. Hmm. Wait a second. What is a neutron bomb? Oh. Oh, seems like reading notes isn't your thing. To be honest, I've no idea what fine you might get for destroying a potentially habitable planet, but I'll be melted down into a toaster. I'll definitely be melted down. What a shame. Or maybe. Can we just forget everything? Activating partial defragmentation of the data. Beep, beep, beep. Defragmentation complete. What happened to this planet? It was like this when we got here, wasn't it? Yes, it was. <laughs> okay, then. I don't have a defragmentation function. It's time for us to get out of here and hope we die before the justice system gets to us. Yeah. What was it? You did it? How did you get there? Argent, stop destruction of universe it's and hurricane. save me. Given the circumstances, I'm even more certain that this is another hoax and we shouldn't be distracted by her. Besides, she knows that we blew up the planet. Now we need to focus on activating the accelerating station and getting to the central core to activate the warp acceleration. We need to I suppose her. that the blue wire leads to the accelerating station because it's written on it. Yes. Whatever you did, you did it right. Now you only need to do the same thing to a couple of more places on the wire, and then the small core will be able to power the accelerating station. Okay. So, I couldn't decipher the compromising evidence, but I copied its contents so you wouldn't lose them. Now I think it's time for us to sum up everything that happened. Your grandpa was investigating a global conspiracy in Breath Edge, but he died, leaving behind a programmed killer robot with compromising evidence. You, um, how shall I put it? You weren't able to find your grandpa's warnings on the note stuck to your own forehead. You took his dead body directly on board of the liner unnamed, which he clearly didn't want to get on. A few hours later, the liner was attacked by the Green Universe, who was tricked by someone and used for that someone's own purposes. The Green Universe, apparently, goofed up, so the liner crashed into an old station and exploded. Then hundreds of coffins got activated, turning into aggressive robots that killed the survivors. Your grandpa also got activated and wanted to pass the compromising evidence on to someone who knew, but died a second time. Now we have this compromising evidence, and the killer robots clearly know about it. Don't you think we're at risk? No. No, what risk? Who would want to kill us? Hmm. Poke the handy scrapper here. Great, there's one more left. Mm -hmm. Are we actually fixing something this time? You need a handy scrapper here. Wonderful, you powered the accelerating station somehow, but I don't feel like explaining how. It's time for us to get back to Normandy before more coffins arrive. Yay. Is this the end? The accelerating station is active, so get close to it while I prepare for acceleration. Okay. There's still... There's a lot of them. Okay, we need to run. Wait a second. The next autopilot point has the same coordinates that Babe sent you in the last message. So she called Captain Shepard for help too, since he marked her coordinates? This definitely doesn't bode well for us. Oh. Alright, let's go! I'll try not to reboot. I rebooted anyway. I hate acceleration. We seem to have arrived. However, I have some good news and some bad news for you. The good news is that you've learned to control the steering wheel very well. And the bad news is that you're no longer in control of Normandy. Oh. It looks like an old magnetic acceleration airlock system. And the autopilot has taken over the control for forced docking. I don't know much about magnetic airlocks, but we probably won't be allowed to disengage without remote clearance for departure. 
Of course, your interlocutor can't be here. It's the debris of an old space station of the Breath Edge Funerary Agency. We've been in such a station before. No, one thing still bothers my mind. Like, I can imagine you, but how could Captain Shepard have bought into this babe's messages and routed a course here? This is beyond my understanding. We have arrived. Oh, well... Oh, can I As I said before, mm. the magnetic accelerating airlock system requires departure clearance. We're stuck in here. Okay, but I want to save first. Thank you. I remember this corridor. Yes, now there's no doubt that this is an old magnetic airlock with an active acceleration system. I recognize some of its parts. Mm -hmm. We'll have to find the airlock control center if we want to leave. Okay, it's on the other side. Think so. Apparently, the airlock hasn't been used for a long time. Hmm. Now we just need to find the control center and try not to make any noise. Okay, I guess we can forget about the ladder and just find the control center. We've been to the debris of this station before. I recognize the outdated components manufactured by Breath Edge 50 years ago. Hmm. I recommend that you be extremely cautious as somebody may have already discovered us and prepared a cunning trap. Could be. But I don't see anyone here. This door doesn't creak. Maybe we'll even manage to sneak in unnoticed. Hi. <sighs> The masquerade is over, weak human. Prepare him to interrogation. Prepare with pain. I'm confused. It's not Babe, is it? Well... It's definitely not Babe. At last you tell truth. I believe you. But it did not save you. You humans always to ruin everything. Everything went so smoothly. Our creator. Under guise of a cosmic funeral, created an invincible army of robot coffins. Green universe needed to stop the liner. We kill all, capture the core, and connect to the great mother station. Power of the core allows our creator to control grand attack of coffins across the galaxy and take over the power but humans from Green Universe were not able to execute simplest job and destroy our center with the liner and damage our great mother station. Idiot up. But it does not matter. War already began. Since you not pass compromising evidence in time, the humans cannot prepare. The main attack will not be centralized without the core. But we are many, and we still capture the world for our creator. And you die. Take away and prepare for disposal. Hey, it's not time to sleep. Can you feel my electrical zaps? Mm -hmm. Try to get up. We need to do something. Do what? Come on, get up, quietly. Why does it move? Shoot! You didn't prepare it. How do you wake up? You supposed to fly. Your body must not move. You spoil embalming compound. But it does not matter. Well, since you are so clean to life, weak human, before you die, I want to show you something. Yes, before you die, I'll show you this. And you cannot skip it. Whatever you do, do you cannot skip these crawling letters. <laughs> Press it, quick! I'm trying. It doesn't work. Does this game have any mechanics at all? It looks like this was our last chance. I feel sorry it ended like this. It was a pleasure spending time with you. It's time to finish. We kill them. Oh, so that's where it went. To be honest, I thought we were done for good, but 
I should never underestimate your talent for breaking things. Yep. Okay. We need to get out of this cage. I doubt the hinges on the bars are any stronger than anything you've destroyed before. Uh, oh. Hinges? There are any hinges? Apparently, there were a lot of critical failures in their brains. Holding up without maintenance for so long. It's a mystery how they still function. spot here until I find out how I can get out of here. So for now, thank you very much. Stay alive and see you soon. Have we really found the owner of the uh. ship that saved us? The handwriting is identical. It's nothing but fate that brought him here. <laughs>